what am I? Like, what are these thoughts going to lead to? How can I have left something that no one has ever left? So growing up, I was a member of a church for the majority of my life. I basically spent uh, almost two decades in Islam uh, from a very conservative sort of background. For me, and this is the case for a lot of Muslims, particularly from conservative backgrounds, it's a way of life. It will f- filter through everything you think and do. You know, who you talk to, who you're friends with, what you look like, what you wear, what rituals you take part of. It's everything, right? And it's everything from a very young age. So imagine what happens when you don't have that anymore or you don't believe in that anymore. I left my faith in a very gradual way. So there was no big bolt of lightning. I would compare it to losing touch with a friend. Um, So like years just kind of drifting apart and then suddenly you haven't seen that person for one, two, three years. So for me, the start of losing my faith probably began when I started working on Sundays and then I wasn't going to church regularly Um, and so there was that drift and then suddenly I got to a point where I was far away, um, didn't feel part of it and was almost able to look objectively and then suddenly I didn't necessarily think that my beliefs mirrored what the church was teaching me, particularly with regards to um, kind of current social issues and that's kind of when the, the break happened. Everyone has questions whether you're in a political group or a religious group But the answers to these questions stopped making sense the older I got. So the more I learned about different philosophies and how people interacted with the world differently, the more I kind of met other people beyond my faith group, the more some of these questions just didn't make sense to me anymore. Leaving the church probably had an impact in two ways. So one was it gave a great sense of community and belonging. So there's a lot of friendships. It actually meant a lot when you kind of reflect back. So a lot of older people, um, just um, those passing friendships. Um, And then the second thing would have been, I guess, the more spiritual or psychological um, loss. So being part of a church and having that faith probably gave me a sense of belonging. I had a purpose in life. I was here for God's will and for God's plan and to serve him and, and others. And then so suddenly I didn't have that anymore. And then the sense of peace in that I had answers to the big questions. I had answers to why I was here and I had answers to what happens after death. And so that's gone as well. So the biggest void I had at the time was being completely and utterly alone. Beyond that, another void becomes about community because if you only really grow up with religious people from your community, then suddenly you're trying to interact with non-religious people. How do you trust them? And that trust issue is quite a big one for a lot of people. I think faith can be is expressed in society in many different ways. People have faith in different religions, people have faith in sport te- sports teams, people have faith in family or science. So I think most people out there have a faith in something. Bus. Yes, and on the way to where I was going, I noticed a man. So the improvisational drama stuff is very interesting because it was one of the first things I did after I left Islam. What's very interesting about improv is that it forces you to become a child again. And so you kind of really bring yourself down to like a baby level and then you build up. So then you're building up structures with other people. It really helped for me to see I can enjoy something in the world that's not religious. It was something that really gave me a sense of purpose in some ways. I think now that I don't have faith in God in the same way that I did before. And I think that's probably still something I'm working out. I still have faith in in the goodness of humanity to a certain extent, like humans are innately good and that we're here to serve each other and I try and still live that way. In terms of whether or not I have things that are faith based, I think I probably do. So for example, I have faith that religious people, especially from Muslim backgrounds, will eventually accept ex-Muslims. But I can't prove that. It's a belief system I have that is probably going to end up that way and so I'm working towards that. It's based on nothing. Somewhere out in space, between the Earth and planet Mars Elliptically orbiting the Sun amid the stars Oh, so small, mighty Hubble can't reveal it Floats a tiny china teapot, I can't prove it But I feel it